more on these protests, the future elections, and how small and medium businesses are faring in Spain. Let's go to Milan Alvarez Miranda. He is the CEO of Uni Papel, and uh, he joins us here. Uh, it's a Spanish paper and manufacturer. Uh, welcome to the show, uh, sir. First of all, strike action uh, imminent uh, tomorrow. How does that impact your company? How have previous strikes impacted you? Well, quite. Uh, first of all, good morning, and uh, I'm going back to your question. Quite negatively, uh, we can we can uh, trail down or trace down our, our uh, business results um, to previous strikes, uh, where recovery business recovery has been very slow in the in the in the post strike. Uh, uh, weeks and months, so uh, we look at it uh, quite uh, quite worried. Now, you are your strategy as a company is to decrease your dependency on Spain. This is the strategy that you've brought in, but you're still very dependent on the rest of Europe as well. So, how are you finding business outside of Spain? Yeah, absolutely. That's uh, that's the strategy we are driving right now. Uh, becoming a pan-European uh, business, uh, moving from about 50 percent of our revenues to in Spain to around 20, 25 percent of our revenues in Spain. And what we are finding is, uh, unfortunately, that uh, demand and the vitality of the business is, is falling down uh, since uh, three, four months uh, in the uh, you know the markets outside Spain, France, Germany, Italy, uh, Benelux, etc. So we, we have seen that clearly in the month of August, July, June, and, and we unfortunately we are expecting to see that in the, the remaining of the, in the remaining of the year. Now let's talk about the labor market reforms that the new government or that the government has brought into effect. There, they are really what economists say the key to unlocking growth in Spain, getting rid of that two-tier employment system where you have temporary workers on uh, very easy contracts to hire and fire and then you've got these permanent workers that cost a lot and are almost impossible to fire. Do you think that employment uh, law is moving in the right direction and how are the changes impacting you as a CEO? Uh, well, uh, undoubtedly we've, we've seen changes uh, in legislation in the last, uh, let's say, 12 months in Spain moving in the right direction uh, with the last uh, law uh, change. But clearly we need a much more accelerated process. Uh, we need a more uh, in-depth analysis and review of the current uh, regulation. Uh, and I agree with your comments of uh, being the labor market and the labor regulation. One of the key uh, issues to be resolved in Spain in the, in the coming months if we want the economy to, to rebound and, and to start growing. So what would you like to see happen exactly? How would you like the government to create labor laws that would make it, do you want it to be easier for you to hire and fire workers? Do you want to have to give them fewer benefits? What would you prefer to see? Yeah, I think it is a it is a um, complex uh, complex uh, area. I, I think we on one side we need to be, make sure that we are protecting the uh, the benefits and, and and yeah the benefits of the of the workers uh, and that we are not creating too much uh, cheap uh, employment. Uh, but on the other, because uh, confidence is something very important in society and, and uh, to create demand and to have a, a stable workforce. But on the other hand, we really need to have a much, much more flexible uh, environment, where a flexible regulation where we can uh, hire people in a, more, in a simple way, simpler way, where we can uh, right. have much, much more flexibility in the way we structure the, the, the workforce. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. We really appreciate your insight, though, into to what it's like being a CEO in Spain during the debt crisis.